everybody. This is Mr. Workman. I'm going to talk through level one genetics problem number 13 with you here. All right, so let's read this question really quickly here. What proportion of human progeny receive an X chromosome from the father? And um, you should know that men, of course, are uh, XY and women are XX in terms of their sex chromosomes. Okay, so first of all, that's the symbol for men. Men are considered XY. Women are considered XX. Uh, that's the sex chromosome allocation for the, our two genders. So what we can do here is do a cross between um, a woman and a man in a Punnett square here. And what I'm going to do is put the gamete possibilities for the man on the side of the Punnett square here and the gamete possibilities for the woman on the top of the square, and then we can make our square, and we can see how these sex chromosomes can potentially recombine during fertilization. So, as you see here, <clears throat> when you look at this Punnett square, as we consider 13A, what proportion of human progeny receive an X chromosome from the father? Well, it's these, these ones and these ones, which is half, all right? So that means one half receive the X from dad. Okay, and when we look at question 13b, what proportion receive one from the mother? Well, all of the kids get X chromosomes from the mother, so that means all, or four out of four. And then in 13c, the question is what proportion receive an X chromosome from the mother and a Y chromosome from the father? Well, that's going to be these boys down here, the XY here. You get an X from your mom when you're a boy, and you get a Y from your dad when you're a boy. So that means half get X from mom and Y from dad. All right, so that's it for number 13.